Alyssa Martin, 26 seconds to go. Martin tied up near half court by Bear, gets rid of it to Wisner. Jamie drives to the foul line, pull up, inside shot to Hunter, puts it up and in. She faked the shot, pass to Hunter. The Beavers up 55-54, 13 seconds to go. And I hate losing, you know, and this was a game um, that was winnable. Uh, the, the team did uh, a lot of things worthy of the victory, but we didn't get it. Um, you know, so there's pain, you know, for sure. Um, we did a lot of great things tonight, though. We held this team to 31% shooting. You know, we only had 12 turnovers, which has been an issue for us. Um, you know, we shot a better percentage against a, you know, a good team than we have. Um, then we had a couple big-time performances. <clears throat> you know, one in particular in Jamie's performance tonight was big time. Alyssa hit a huge shot for us, um, you know, and so it just, it's, it's hard to lose. You know, hats off to SC for making the plays, you know, that they made. Um, staying in the game in the first half when we had control and then, you know, obviously uh, making the play that won the game. Wisner drives to the right elbow, tied up inside, has to get it out to Martin for a three-pointer. Good! <laughs> Alyssa Martin knocks down a three-pointer. And it's 54-53. Alyssa, what was, I mean, what was the play or what were you trying to do there? Just, I mean, was it the shot you were looking for was a three there at the end of the game or? Uh, we had originally ran a play and then um, it was just the tail end of it was just to kick out. And so I just shot the three. <laughs> Obviously it's tough, but what do you guys take away from the performance you guys put in, you know, coming off of a couple of losses? And having a break and opening back ball play. And you, can you find at this point some positives to come out or is it still kind of too early to, to really think about that? No, I think there's a lot of positives. You know, um, this was a team that we struggled in Vegas. You know, we had two really good opponents down there, <clears throat> but we struggled. We didn't, we didn't play, in my opinion, great basketball. We played below what I thought our ability level is, even for that point in the season as we're growing, you know. Um, we've talked at length about our, our youth and, you know, having a wing playing the one, doing a great job, by the way. Um, you know, and all those things. Tonight, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with, you know, a really good team. And, uh, gave ourselves a chance to win. I thought there was a lot of progress tonight. Um, you know, I mentioned a little bit of it, but I thought we competed at a different level on both ends of the floor. We were ready to go. We played 40 minutes tonight, you know, and so still have a long ways to go as a team. Uh, that's where we are right now, you know, and, um, you know, I think the wins are going to come if we continue to progress like we are. Jamie, how did you feel about your first Pac-12 game? It was the most points from Oregon State player in three years. Um, I was kind of nervous at first, just being the, we haven't played in a while and it was our first Pac-12 game and there was kind of a lot of hype around it, but once I settled in, I just, I don't know, started playing my game, but sucks to lose, you know, just makes you want to get it more, I guess, next time. Your performance was great, but I mean, all four of the fellow freshmen with you, but how do you guys think you handled this first day? I mean, there's 17 more of these to come in the Pac-12 tournament, um, how do you guys think you handled this first day? Um, I think we did pretty good. I mean, there's always room for improvement, so got to start somewhere. It's good to get the first game out of the way.